Like I said, I lost a lot of stuff. Brand deals don't want to work with me. People who I thought was I was cool with don't want to talk to me no more, cut me off. A lot of y'all just turned on me. Y'all didn't even give me the benefit of the doubt. Y'all didn't even wait to hear the full, the full story. Y'all didn't even wait to hear my side. I'm just hurt that y'all couldn't even give me the benefit of the doubt, bro. I don't think it's appropriate for me to go with that intro, but we're on a hard streak. I had to put this intro. Today, we're going to talk about One Year Johnson, aka Angry Reaction, where, if you didn't know, last month in February, he got accused of a DV, domestic violence. His situation is pretty sad, and his situation is a definition of what do people like more than to see a hero rise? They love to see a hero fall. There's something about cancel culture where people do good things, good things left and right. One small mistake you do that you're even alleged or you didn't do, someone just accused you of it. Boom. Now, if you don't know who Angry Reaction is, I'll give you a quick recap. He started his uh, TikTok account back in 2020. He has 27.7 million followers on TikTok. I remember him back, back in the day, he used to pop up review. on the feed a lot. I ain't gonna lie, Basically, what he does is he, he looks at the camera I'm very excited. angry and says, you are beautiful you are gorgeous and just reacts to people while looking very angry and intimidated but in intimidating but he was like a teddy bear he looks like gorgeous so two three years ago if you were insecure about yourself you felt very sad you go online and you start naming the things you hate about yourself angry reaction is going to come to you and be like shut the fuck up bitch you are gorgeous he will compliment you in a way where you will be happy and terrified at the same time and whenever he smiles 10 million likes and after he got accused of domestic violence when he got picked up in february 12th people were like oh my god angry reaction got an angry reaction ha 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 the whole internet went went against him without it even being confirmed if he did it or not even though he looked like he did it but no honestly he's a teddy bear he's a, such a nice guy i watch all his videos now what happened in this situation the bourbon police department received the call around 11 p.m with the girl uh, angry reaction one year was with a girl i don't know if it was a girlfriend friend they're not releasing the name at all they were with a the girl they got into a verbal argument then it uh, they say that it got physical the police came and arrested one year and even the girl who you know he was arguing with was like please don't arrest them it was it's nothing serious even though the girl was the one who called the police the article says that the mo woman did not need any medical uh, attention nothing happened serious between them but you know they just received the call and they had to come and arrest him because bro looks very angry they they saw him they were like hands in the air you look very angry and you look like you beat woman i don't trust you his bill was also posted fifty thousand dollars for him to come out and he's he was being charged with a felony domestic violence charge the felony is, is a big thing when it comes to your career like he said in the video if, if it's like a 20, 20 minute video he said that his career took a very downfall. Brands don't want to work with him. Influencers don't want to work with him. He lost friends. He lost family members. All because of what? They got into an argument and the woman called the police. This is a felony case for some reason. This was a situation of me getting attacked from a woman and defending myself. I was being attacked by a woman and the slightest bit of defense landed me in jail now these things definitely happen woman girlfriend wife whatever they lose their shit they come towards you they start hitting you and for a man it doesn't really hurt them much but some men don't have the temper for it and they react back honestly the, i think the correct way to deal with this situation is just hug them very tight and just do not let them go and don't let the obviously not in ramadan like in ramadan it's haram if you hug them or touch them in any way so it, when, if she th starts throwing punches, she just dodge it like left and right. But you should just control your temper. Some people hit them back. We call them the white t -sh white tank toppers. But though he said, anger reaction, he says, one year he says that slightest movement that I did to defend myself, maybe he pushed her. He doesn't specify exactly what he did. He said he just defended him himself maybe the defense was pa uh, we, we don't know but he's saying small i'm guessing he just held her or pushed her away he's like stop hitting me don't hit me in this video he goes on and he says he's very upset with everyone that no one gave him a benefit of the doubt that all the things good things he did on the internet 
One thing you are forgotten. You are a woman beater and that is the forever going to be your name. Just recently, beginning of this month, it came out that the, the charges were dropped, that he was fine found not guilty in this situation. Four days ago, he made a 17 minute video which says, I'm quitting TikTok. In the whole video, he goes on and he explains everything that happened. And he says that after all the comments that I've received from people, I was reading them, I, you know, people were just giving me very harsh things, even for the things that I didn't even do. But people judge very, very quickly and they don't want to, most majority of people don't want to hear the backstory and or, you know, see what happened they just want to cancel the person so that really got to him hurt his feelings and he just he says in the video that he lost the passion for doing what he does that's it for him but he's still going to be streaming on twitch under the name angry reaction but he's going to change it and he's gonna take a different path i think this is like the worst betrayal in the internet history if bro turns into a villain and actually does angry reactions I'm not gonna judge him, but bro, he was so loved. He's still, people after, you know, the stories are coming out, they're still, you know, waking up. But the first stage of people who watched his videos, you know, like, oh my God, woman beater. For, they're forever gonna remember him as uh, a woman beater. And no matter how many times he explains himself, you know, how many times he proves himself, like the videos that came out has like 20 million views, but the videos he's posting, explaining himself, has like 50,000 views on YouTube. Following up with it, he deleted every single video on his main channel, removed everything. He's moving up to YouTube and he just has few videos from his YouTube just on his page. But this is very important as well. Like if you're a content creator, whatever, a woman can be your rise or a woman can be your downfall. I guess we know what happened with angry reactions. He said that this was the worst week of his life when he got alleged of these things. He said that I'm not the anger reaction content anymore. I can't. I would just never be the same after all of this. This is why you need a loyal community. If something, guys, if something in the future comes out, okay, of something I did, I expect you to defend me, okay? Don't bitch out. Be like, whoosh, I didn't expect this from you. There's... Let, let me, let's hear, I, I probably did it, whatever I'm accused of, but hear my story first. I'll probably come up with like a apology video and put like sad music. First of all, I want to say from the bottom, my something like that. But what do I think about this situation? Do I think he did it? I think he defended himself, not even in a violent way because no injuries were even reported, not even a bruise. I don't know what they were fighting about, but it sounds like it was serious. And this will lead to destroying his career. There's a very high chance he's not going to leave a 27 million follower account. He's going to come back after a while. He said he lost passion, but he's going to come back to it. I hope he does and starts doing good for the world again. So what did we learn from this video? No matter how good you do to this world, no matter how good of a person you are, end of the day, one small mistake you do, they're just going to focus on that and they're going to turn you into a villain. There's still more stuff happening in this case, but it's 10 minutes to iftar. So not my issue. If you want to know more, go do research yourself. I am hungry, my friend. See you.